Hi, welcome to today's video about attosecond physics part 2. This is a nice picture of a strontium atomic clock. One attosecond is defined as 10 to the minus 18 seconds. That's a quintillionth of a second or a billionth of a billionth of a second. Uh, the traveling time of an uh, electron between atoms is in this uh, time period of attoseconds. There's the atomic unit of time which is 24 attoseconds. This is used in atomic physics. The former experimental limit was the femtosecond, uh, one femtosecond fs is 10 to the minus 15 seconds. This is a simplified model of the element uh, neon, its uh, nucleus and uh, 10 electrons. A neon is uh, number 5 in abundance in the universe, this um, neon 20 is the most abundant isotope with 91% on Earth. It has a full shell of uh, 1s electrons and the second shell is a completely full too. And there was an experiment with, uh, of ionization by 100 electron volt photons. And uh, this showed a photo emission delay of the two p electrons. They were slower to leave the atom compared to the two s electrons. The difference was 21 attoseconds. The orbit time of the two p electron in its uh, dumbbell shaped orbital is, um, was measured um, at 100 attoseconds. At this time scale, the massive uh, proton and neutron are static, They're, they can't uh, move much. Uh, the mass of the pro proton is uh, 1836 electron masses. Uh, the question is how is the attosecond pulse detected? This is uh, one method, it's called a uh, rabbit. That's the uh, reconstruction of attosecond beating by interference of two photon transitions. The electron is hit with uh, extreme uh, UV light um, as a pulse train that lifts it to the high orbitals. Then it is pulsed with uh, infrared photons, or it uh, emits infrared photons, and then gets, it gets to this uh, level. So you're um, creating electron wave packets, and they are probed by a varying, varying infrared field. That's how you measure this. This is a picture of the quantum interaction that's the second same UV pulse interacting with a single electron. It is lifted into a co continuum of states. Then the infrared pulses uh, push the electron up and uh, down the levels until it's reach it reaches its uh, finite energy level, and this is then uh, measured. This is a picture of high harmonic generation in a krypton gas cell by infrared laser. It was the first attosecond uh, pulse generated in uh, 2001. And there's a method called uh, Atto clock that uses the electron interaction with a circular polarized laser field. This causes an angle change um, of the tunnel ionized electrons, and this is measured. The angle change uh, corresponds to the time, and that's how it's measured. And with this method, um, was found that the helium electron has a tunneling time that is no more, not more than 1.8 attoseconds. This is an experiment frog that's called uh, frequency resolved optical gating. It uses a second harmonic generation. Uh, unknown pulse is uh, split into two pulses, and then they are recombined. There is a defined variation of the delay. And with this method, you can uh, produce a spectrogram of the pulse, the combined pulse. And the last step is a generalized uh, projections algorithm to retrieve the pulse from the spectrum. That's how you can measure it. This is a picture of a carbon nanocone on an old nanotip. Nanotips can be used for study of phenomena of nanoscale solids in uh, real time that happen in attoscale seconds, uh, time periods. This is a picture of the neodymium uh, doped yttrium aluminium garnet laser. There's um, another method called APEPS, that's attosecond pump, attosecond probe spectroscopy, is a near infrared laser 
combined with an extreme UV pulse generator. This is an example of the molecule iodine monobromide, IBR. It's a model for a diatomic uh, molecule. Um, attosecond spectroscopy with a 200 attosecond extreme UV pulse showed that uh, there is a avoided crossing of electrons. This was confirmed. In this picture, um, x-axis is uh, distance, uh, y-axis is orbital energies. Uh, avoided crossing is a phenomenon of quantum mechanic, and it says there's uh, no crossing of the orbitals of the iodine and the uh, bromine. This is a nice picture of uh, Werner Heisenberg um, that's located in a high school in Hamburg, Germany. This um, high school is named after Werner Heisenberg. And the question is, is attosecond physics um, the end of the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle? This is the equation of the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Delta x times delta p is a uh, dot lower than one, one half h bar. Um, this equation uh, describes the precision limit for position and momentum. Position is x, momentum is p. And h bar is the reduced Planck constant. It is 1.05 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. This is a time evolution of a short pulse in a dispersive medium. You can see the longer wavelength components that travel faster than the, sh than the shorter ones. And the Heisenberg uncertainty principle is not uh, falsified yet. This is a nice animation of the molecule H2. We will see it soon uh, the second uh, atom. This is an example of septosecond science. One septosecond is 10 to the minus 21 seconds. This is a experiment of the photoionization of hydrogen with a double slit experiment. And there was an electron burst time de delay of 247 septoseconds and due to the travel time of the photon between the uh, two nuclei. This is a nice animation of the element nitrogen, atomic number 7. There are two stable isotopes, 14 and 15. And there is another isotope, uh, ra uh, radioactive isotope 10, with um, 7 protons, 3 neutrons. It's a very short half-life of 143 octoseconds. 1 octosecond is uh, 10 to the minus 24 seconds. And there's another example of the octosecond uh, time period. That's the mean lifetime of the Higgs boson, which is 156 octoseconds. This is a Feynman diagram of the neutron decay. The y-axis is time. You can see here the neutron, uh, one up quark, two down quarks. Here's the proton, up, down, up quarks. Uh, the neutron decays into a proton, an uh, electron, and an an electron antineutrino. And uh, there's the intermediate particle, that's the W minus boson. Its mean lifetime is 300 rontoseconds. And one rontosecond is 10 to the minus 27 seconds. This is an overview of uh, Planck units in the six space time dimensions. And there's a Planck length, which is defined as 1.62 times 10 to the minus 35 meters. And there's a Planck time. This is uh, the travel time of light over one Planck length in a vacuum. Uh, this Planck time is 5.39 times 10 to the minus 44 seconds. But uh, the Planck time is just a definition. It is not a quantum of time. So, uh, theoretically, there could be phenomena in the, uh, will be discovered in the future that are maybe shorter than the Planck time. This is a very nice book, um, The Little Prince, uh, Le Petit Prince, of Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. It's a quote of Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, uh, the time for action is now, it's never too late to do something. Um, that was today's video about attosecond physics. Uh, you can check out the links uh, to the scientific papers. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you very much for the nice comments on YouTube. Uh, have a nice day. Bye-bye. Uh,